Now we will see the construction steps for the hexagonal headed bolt and nut for which the major diameter is given as D is 20 the small d the minor diameter we can calculate 0.85 into d that is 17 w the width across the flats of the hexagon will be 1.5 d is 30 we have already drawn this in the exercise number 20 bolt and head thickness bolt head thickness is 2 by 3 times d is 13.3 nut thickness is 7 over 8 d is 17.5 we assume that the length of the bolt is 80 we can assume any number for the length of the bolt it is not specified by any standards threaded length is equal to 36 start our drawing I have selected ISO A3 title block View zoom on draw the vertical center axis switching on the ortho the horizontal center line here draw the circle specify the center point diameter is equal to w is equal to 30 that is the diameter of the circle i say type d for diameter and then write 30 is the diameter then polygon number of sides is 6 center of the polygon c radius will be 15 30 by 2 from this polygon project the construction lines from all the corners of the polygon one let me make this with different thickness so that it's easy to visualize for you well continue with our construction of the projection lines from all the corners of the polygon There is one very important construction line actually starting from this point intersection of the circle with the horizontal center line. Now continue with our bolt head. See this is a starting line for the bolt. The thickness of the bolt is 13.3 so offset from this line 13.3 is 2 by 3 times D this is the thickness so our bolt is in this area the bolt we are chamfering from here so start the line from this one we take always 30 degree chamfer here and the rate take any length 8 angle is minus 30 because we want downward this is a construction line now draw another construction line horizontal construction line where this line and zoom in the 30 degree line is intersecting with the outermost polygon projection so our arc is between these two lines so this construction 30 degree if you cut like this the arc will be starting from here to here then from here to here then from here to here I'll draw the middle arc first from this corner this is the midpoint to this point We need another arc between here so if i want to start the arc first point second point i can't click here so what i will do is i'll draw the short line here it's convenient for me to draw you can use other methods also so this short line has a midpoint here so you can bring the midpoint to this line here now you can delete this line similarly construct a short line from here to here and draw the arc first point of the arc middle point of the arc third point of the arc you can delete now all projections so this is your bolt head here also draw the visible line starting say from here to here 
sorry change the thickness and continue from here to here to here You can delete in fact all the construction lines now. This line also can be deleted. You can draw one single, don't forget this line from here to here. And this is approximate construction of the bolt head. Zoom out. Now the total length we are assuming 80. I will take the length, you can assume any value for the length say 80 from this line for example and the threaded length is 36 so offset by 36 from this point upward and we want to draw the nut say the nut is 5 millimeters from the end of the bolt here and the nut thickness is 17.5 so offset 17.5 from this line well i'll zoom into this area now so now focus on drawing the major and the minor diameters i'll draw the short line here and offset by 10 because major diameter is 20 so 10 on the left hand side 10 on the right hand side this i will now make it either you can delete or you can make it short to make the offset for the minor diameter minor diameter is equal to seventeen. So half of 17 is 8.5. So offset by 8.5. Zoom into this area. Zoom window on this side and on the right hand side. So this is your minor diameter. You can trim the lines now here. Trim it here. Trim the major and the minor diameter in this area because we are going to draw the nut here you can take the chamfer d for distance distance method for the chamfer command the distance is the distance between the major and the minor diameter just click on this point click on this point and your card will read the distance from this point that is 1.5 it is asking now specify the second chamfer distance it is 1.5 we want to keep 1.5 just do nothing just press enter and now select your line this line this line repeat the command chamfer d for distance 1.5 1.5 that is true same distance on the other side you don't have to select it again and complete it by drawing the line here for chamfer now we already have constructed the shape of the arc we can just copy that shape paste it here you can rotate it rotate specify the base point of the rotation and rotation angle is 180 degree now this arc you can move it here where you want to have the starting point of the nut move select the object select what you want to select finish your selection enter base point of the displacement and the end point where destination point where you want to go now draw the line say from here to here from here to here and here
make sure that the line starts from the arc and it is vertical otherwise you can stop here and use extend extend all enter enter and just click on the line to extend it that's it now we have finished the construction of the hexagonal headed bolt and the nut just at the end you know you should make these two lines as center line load the center line load C for center okay okay select the two lines make it center line with this the front view is complete 